can. No, absolutely. Still looks like it's there on its own. Now they're just trying to finish this to get it buried. You can see the directional sweeping. They pay attention. It's uh, what that's a that's a pretty good shot from Jack. Manitoba does not have hammer, so they just really wanted to get something behind cover. So welcome back. We hear we had a little bit of audio trouble, but we're we are back. So you're, it's been a really interesting, and I know people can watch it and they they couldn't hear. We just had a little bit of a a miss um, by Prince Edward Island. So Manitoba has an opportunity here to draw in again and put a lot of pressure on Prince Edward Island. Yeah, I, Terry was playing the the little backline chase, I think, after a good come round by Manitoba, and that, the three shots in a row we saw kind of wide and heavy, and even the made draw was taking its time to curl. So. I'll give Terry some credit, and he was thinking it was probably a straight spot there, but he may have got into some fresh ice, taking, tightening up the ice and throwing a little bit more weight. So crashed on the guard, and now the end's totally turned around. Now it's a great opportunity for Manitoba to put some serious pressure on PEI here with a good draw. Yeah, and, and the, the big part of this shot is you don't want to be heavy, Brent. Anywhere, even fully in front of it, you just don't want to give an out by being heavy and giving an opportunity for Prince Edward Island to make a good freeze. Absolutely. I would expect them to be close here. This is probably the third or fourth time we've seen this path. And uh, like I said, the, the miss has been heavy, but absolutely, you know, that's the, the kiss of death on this shot. He's come up short here, but, you know, it's still, still a decent situation. Uh, but sometimes we get, we get to the point where we're thinking too much about don't be heavy, don't be heavy, don't be heavy, and we end up light like that. And now there's an opportunity for PEI with a good draw to put a, a deuce back on the table. So this is again one that uh, the PI is going to want to make. Dennis is really going to want to make sure he shot rock here. And if not, it, it leads to a really closed down scoring area where they're, they're going to be in hard to score. It's a big shot here from Dennis Watts. But yeah. he put it on the pin in the draw the button. He so sure did. I like his chances. This is one where if he makes this, he's got a good chance at two, and if he misses it, he probably has almost no chance of scoring at all. So, yeah, like Jen said, big shot here. Boys like it early. Looks to be on a pretty good line here, maybe a little bit of room, but if the weight is right, I think he's on a great line. Got to make sure he shot rock. Slide a little bit further than you think they're going to. He hold on for shot rock. Doesn't look like he quite did. A little bit of a misjudge there. A pretty well thrown rock, but just overswept it a little bit. And now a great opportunity for Manitoba to really put the screws to PEI here and potentially set up even a two steal. I'm super impressed with the level of play and the and the sweeping and just everything. This is just it's gonna be an incredible week. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking to a couple of the players before and how, you know, Everest puts on a world-class event and everybody's super excited and the word's getting out that this is one of the best events going. The downside of that is more people are playing and it's getting harder and harder to get here. So Zach just threw a draw. He should be close on this. He was light on his first one and he looks like he gave it a little bit more. I think he's got some line trouble here, which tells me he's probably heavy, but this is extremely wide so far, Jen. Doesn't want to leave this wide open and leave a double for two or even three with that back kicker, potentially. Looks like he's lying too. I don't know. It looks like there might be room to make that double, but it probably jams, but definitely a good opportunity here for two if... Uh, if Dennis can throw a good rock here, he's, I'm not sure how much he can see by the guard, but it looks like there is air. So he can probably pick whichever weight he likes here. You can make this with hack, or you can throw it hard and make the double uh, with, uh, with normal or firm weight if you wanted.
Dennis looked pretty comfortable throwing the hits in the first end. I would expect him to be very close on this shot. They threw a lot of hits in the first end all over the sheet, so they know what this is going to do, and I would expect that this is probably going to be a... I don't want to jinx Dennis in the, early in the game, but I would expect this is going to be a deuce on the board. Sounds like he got it a little bit back here, Jen, but it looks pretty close. That's that's what happens with up weight on arena ice. It generally runs really straight. I saw this more as a hack weight shot, but he looks pretty close. Got his one. Okay, got nice his shot. one there. Yeah, good throw. And their fans love it, like it. <laughs> so and we that, that uh, will take us to a score of one nothing after the second end, and we will be back shortly for the third end. Welcome back. So that was a very interesting end. Lots of good shots, a couple of misses, but the players are really going to figure out that draw weight. Um, I'm super impressed with the level of play, and I, I can't wait to see what happens here. So we've PI yeah, scored their one, and they've called for this to be a tight guard. We've got tight, we've got tight action on uh, all five sheets. There's three men's draws in play, and uh, every, uh, every game is a, a one one nothing score with Alberta up on Nunavut. one nothing uh, after one. I didn't see what happened at the end of the second there, but... Uh, and then Saskatchewan's playing Northern Ontario, and then our feature sheet here with Manitoba and PEI. And then we have two women's draws over there on uh, sheet A and B. We've got um, Northwest Territories versus Newfoundland and Labrador, and we have Manitoba battling Quebec. We'll try and keep you updated the best we can. I like it, Jen. We've seen a corner guard here. Yeah, we had saw our first rock slip into the rings, which is not a bad miss. Um, and Manitoba is going to put up the corner guard, try to find a way to score their two points. Really good sweep, sweep, sweeping from Manitoba. Great form. Yeah. Twelve feet last. So we're we're, tw we're seeing a guard from Prince Edward Island. Sometimes when the rock slips behind the T-line, you may not see the guard. Interesting communication there. They're talking about the speed. Nice. And Andrew obviously threw the first one in the back forefoot. And may need a little bit at the end. Everybody talks a little bit differently about speed, but Still they told there. them 12 feet less, which is, which is a difficult thing to gauge. But, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting to hear how the different teams communicate that draw weight back and forth. They're so like sweeping this for a little bit of curl, but they don't want it in the rings. Perfect. Looks like he knows exactly what 12 feet less is. This is the shot the leads um, love. They get to throw the corner guard with a five rock roll, and then they often get to come around their own corner guard. So they've just thrown this shot. And it's a big chance to set up a two point, two point end. I like this call from Manitoba. If you can get it in there, it kind of it's, puts the pressure on PEI, and it might be a rock that sits there the entire end as your second point. A little bit of an oversweep on that one. It's just hard to believe it can slide that far. They wanted that one above the T line. Oh, P.I. is going to get after it here, though. Really put the pressure on. I think a lot of a lot of times you might see a team follow that one down around the corner, but Dennis here likes to come around the center and uh, and really put the pressure on Manitoba. I'm surprised he changed the turn on this on this call. 
wonder if he's thinking if he comes up a little short, he might might end up with a guard. I'm, yeah. I'm not sure, but I'm with you, John. I would play the, the turn that uh, that you know and yeah, the turn that sweepers know. This one looks a little bit light. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty good result. Looks like you left the back one a little exposed, but two center guards, and even if he makes this hit and roll, two yellows behind the T line, not really a great situation for anybody just yet. Those red center guards are going to cause somebody some trouble eventually, I would anticipate. Oh, yeah, this guy's from Manitoba. The traditional tuck. Got this one a little bit inside, and it's very hard to save on a re nice. Sweepers are trying their best to get this by. They don't want to tick the guard in. In the front, will it hold on? Okay. Oh, fortunate little spin there from Pro Manitoba spin at the end to hold on. Wrap it around. Why don't we just draw again, don't we? We're sitting too, why don't we just draw around? Okay. You can hear the fellas, they don't, they don't love this hit out wide here with a pretty good situation in the middle. They're thinking, why not lie three? Dennis seems to be on board. Got her. I like this call. I, well, I think Manitoba... Well, there, I'll let them we swept. talk. Yeah. I think Manitoba would play this anyway, so yeah. I don't mind beating them in. Soft again. Gotta go, same way! Same. Looks like they've pulled the string on this again in the same spot. It's going to end up basically the same shot. And like Jen said, I think you'll see Manitoba switch gears here probably to the draw okay. now that they're uh, their third shot. They might be able to make the triple though, Brent, on those, on those guards. Yeah. Did you kill all three, Zach? Yep. Zach's having a look at that that triple that Jen's uh, Jen's right, mentioning the two guards. I like this call. It's not that high. It's by two thirds. Three quarters. Three quarters. Don't generally want to leave staggered guards on the center line when you have the hammer. So I think this is. Uh, this I'd, makes a lot of sense. I probably would have tried to make the double peel. It looks like he's just trying to make the double. Yeah. Um, and leave a guard out in front. I probably would have played the out turn and rolled for another corner on the other side of the sheet. See if he can drag it back and make the triple on the center line side. Mm -hmm. This looks like if he hits it too high, it might even miss that red one. Nope. Oh. No problems. Oh, oh great a shot. Bonus. Line that up. Great shot. Line that up. Okay. Alright, so same speed this way. Seeing so a come around attempt from Prince Edward Island. Well, they're going around the corner here, hey? Yeah, I think he's worried about those two yellow stones in the house and wants to make sure that he either Wait freezes only. to the back yellow and eliminate the scoring opportunity yep. for Manitoba. Yep. Corey! Hey! This looks hey! real tight. Terry looks like he got this one going. Maybe they should have known that spot relatively well, watching Manitoba throw that twice earlier in the end. But just looks like he got it tight. And, and we talked earlier, I don't think our audio was working, but the differences between arena and curling club ice, and that's certainly one of them. You can't get something curling early on the arena ice. It'll make you look bad every time. Okay. Okay. No chance for Manitoba to hit and, uh, and lie three here, but all behind the T line. And again, we see those double centers again that are probably going to come back into play at some point. Somebody's going to get in there top four and control this end. Whoa! Whoa! Curl, curl, curl. Hard. 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 Curl. Slips close to the corner guard. Oh, just got by. Okay. All right, try it again. 
just hear Manitoba talking that they're throwing a little bit too much weight on their takeouts. And, and on right. arena ice, when you throw a lot of weight, they just run, the takeouts run very, very straight. So you want to make sure you find that weight where you can bring your sweepers into play. A double attempt from Prince Edward Island. This will run straight. Yeah, very straight too. Oh. Roll it. Made a yep, nice yep, roll. Yep, 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 yep. Plan B, an A shot. It's a great example of those last two shots of the difference between what we see generally, especially early in a week. You know, you underestimate how much the soft shots are going to curl. And as you can see, it just makes a perfect roll, but the sweepers have to be in play to roll to roll the stone. So here's the chance for Manitoba to get one in their top four behind those guards and really take control of this end. Whoa! Oh, trick shot. Great line call. Spin a bit. All right. You've been asking for it to spin after feathering the guard. That might be a little bit much to ask. That's a pretty good result for throwing one a little wider and heavier than uh, than he wanted to. Tricky little shot here for Dennis. Yeah, it's a half weight shot. The key on these is to throw the right weight. Big scrub here to try to get this by the guard. Oh, that's really yeah. moving. Big trouble. Spin it, Duke. Four, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Danny. Good. He's gonna be hitting right under, right? I know. I, I, unless you, unless you like, I, I, if he's still rolling, I'm thinking you try and you just kill us. It's not bad either. I know that he's. I, I don't think we can put it in that good a spot. Well, Zach, you. I think you throw. I think you yeah. do do that. Like if, if we wrap it, he still has this. I know. And if we put it here, and take he's got away the, the roll, double. He's got the double and, and roll. We got to make it back for two, right? Yeah, so I like I like hitting that then. If we throw back line and just move it, even even if we're like honestly kind of frozen to it, it's yeah. make him make that roll. No, I don't mind. Make, like, set three, roll, set like, three. He can leave it in the hole, so. Well, if he makes that, you might, that's thin, but. Well, yeah. Well, okay, top it back to sit three then, Yeah, right? I agree. I think uh, Zach and, okay. and Jack are making a great call here, and they just talked you through it like absolutely one. perfectly. This is a, a great call. Yeah, I like this call. I like it. Shade more? Another one where he just really has to get the speed right and, and give it a chance on the line. And the, the boys, good sweepers on this Manitoba team for sure. And they'll be able to make this shot for him. As long as that gets the weight right and gets the line relatively close, the boys should be able to make this for him. Or a double. Curling too. Hard. Sure is. Whoa. hard! You gotta go! Yep. Hard. 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 Easy, hard. Easy. Whoa. Good looking Whoa. shot here. Nice. Perfect weight was the key to making that shot. Now well, PEI better come up with something here. They're, they're in danger of giving up a three here. Same Just way. Want to go the same way or do you want to go that way? Okay. Kind of wait. Okay. Interesting. 
you take a look at the intern here, Jen. I, I would have thought he would have played the same turn, but maybe he didn't like the way he threw that last one or that spot tricked him and he's not sure of it, so he's going to throw the, uh, the other turn. He just wants to make sure he, he rolls somewhere. Even if he rolls too far and, and gives Manitoba a chance for two, that's okay. Uh, you, you're trying to avoid the three by nose hitting or by rolling out. This does look a little bit harder. Guard's got to be almost in the way to make this shot. Close to making the double. It's close to hitting the guard. All right, in between. No. Oh. Okay. Made it good enough to lie two or to lie second at the top. It's a tough hit for three if they want to take it on here. It'll be interesting to see if Zach wants to take this on or just take the, the open draw for two. Looks like he wants to take it on. I like it. You can nose it too, so like that make, gets a three. Yeah, nose. Uh, if you jam it here though, Zach, I don't know. Whatever, if you want to nose it with like control. Two options here, you play a hack yeah. waiter across the top. I don't, I don't, or something nose harder on the nose. I don't mind, probably simpler to it's call. It's easier. I would agree. Okay. You make it either way. See, I, I, I like that. Throw on the control inside? Weight around the nose? Yeah. Right. Touch high is fine too. It should run pretty low. Yeah, touch, like, honestly, touch low. We click the back when yeah. we get to. Control, eh? Yeah. Sounds so like a good plan. You're going to see a control weight try to nose hit, make the double on the back one. Straight through the middle. For three. And hopefully don't dead stop on the back one. So, I control. Sounds yeah. close. Hard! 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 Whoa. Hard! Hard! Whoa. Hard! Great shot. Just enough. Great shot for three. Three yellow. I think Jack was in trouble there if that ended up jamming. Zach was pretty confident it needed to curl a little bit. And turns out they're both right. Three on the board for Manitoba. Great end played by Manitoba there. So after three ends of play, we have a score of 3-1 Manitoba. Welcome back to our fourth end action. Manitoba after a big score of three. And now PI is going to turn on some offense here and try to see if they can get two points back. Quick update on a couple of the other games here. We've got Alberta and Nunavut tied at uh, one. And we've got a, a wild game going on between Saskatchewan and Northern Ontario. There are rocks everywhere every end. And Sask Saski is up. 2-1 and, uh, and has Northern Ontario in some trouble here in the third. On the uh, ladies' side, Newfoundland's off to a hot start at 5-0 over Northwest Territories. And it looks like Quebec's on the board up 1-0 over Manitoba. So lots of close games here in the first draw, which is great to see. So we're seeing the corner guard opposite of last end, the corner guard from PEI. Manitoba's uh, initial draw over curled just a little bit. You want that one on center line. Come on, go. Okay, we're over, we're over. The PEI boys wanted us to make sure we uh, gave a shout out to, uh, to Jamie Newson, their, their regular skip, who unfortunately is uh, not able to be here this week out with an injury. So, Jamie, hope you're doing well. I actually personally played against Jamie in 1998 juniors. 
and hope he's uh, hope he's on a speedy recovery path. Do you know this is his second Canadian Championship he's missed because of an injury? I saw that. That's some uh, yeah. some hard luck, Jamie. No, we don't. We don't. Wait. Wait. Fine. Toss is rock. We like T, Zach. It still looks fair to me. T line. Nope. T line. Still looks fair to me. Saw this spot earlier in the game where everybody was heavy three or four times in a row. It's a, maybe the fastest spot on the sheet, but there's a great shot by uh, Manitoba to start the end. What? Maybe slid just a hair too far, Brent. Now there's an opportunity for a freeze for shot rock. And this is P.I. lead, Andrew McDougall. Bumping. And Andrew was telling us that he played against Brad Gushu's team at Brad's first nationals. I believe and Brad uh, played second. He, yeah, that was Brad Gushu's no, no, first yeah. win at a national championship. Brad was playing second for Newfoundland. And uh, Andrew, of course, takes, takes credit for everything that's happened to Brad and team after that. Just a little bit heavy. I'm impressed early, especially with, with Zach here and the way he's calling the game. I think this is a great call. I think a lot of times it's easy to think, well, we better hit that red one. And then PEI quickly makes that come around and freezes where their Manitoba's trying to get to first, and all of a sudden you're in trouble. So another good call there. Yeah, it's it's really hard. Hard. Really hard line. Looks yeah. like he got this a little bit inside. Hard. And it's just Stop once it starts curling, there's no save in it. Yeah, hard. Great scrub. Joshua here had a, a bit of a soft intern last end too that ended up hitting the guard. So obviously something he's not feeling. So I'd be interested to see if the guys help him out here and say maybe just got to finish that throw or just a little bit soft. Some information here for Josh would certainly be helpful. Same way. Great chance for PEI. Make this freeze. Take control of the end. Still can't. Here's coming. Line looks perfect, Jen. It's not bumping out. It looks really good. They tried to be patient on the sweep because everything's been going a little bit too far, and I think they left it just a little short. They did indeed. Pretty good shot though. That's the hardest part, it's just trying to figure out the judging on and how far it's gonna slide, not sweeping it too far. Now the key on this shot, Brent, is to not nose. Nose looks pretty bad, yeah, I would agree with that. So I didn't catch, were they trying to go low or trying to roll away? They're trying to hit and roll oh, yeah. away. Yep. Hard. Hard. with another intern Hard. swept right out of his hand. Oh, 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 oh. Audible, I think they're going to try to change the call. Okay, we got what they didn't want, unfortunately, there. Gives a PI an opportunity to make that little hit and roll and, and really put them in some trouble. They're playing board weight here, Brian. I, I don't think you need to throw it that hard. The most important part is the line. Even back eight, just trying to make sure you get to the inside of the stone. I would agree with you there, Jim. Put it in the sweeper's hands and whatever the thrower is comfortable with and the, the, the line they know, but yep. it looks like he's definitely not overthrown this, yep. which I'm, I'm impressed by. Yeah, hold your hold. Keep going. But they've lost the line yep. call here, unfortunately. Keep going. Keep going. And that was the only danger about throwing that weight. But they ended up with back hey. eight. Just under through it I a little bit. Like, yeah, like after the board. You're going to still see Manitoba throw a hit here, I think. Oh, we're drawing. Okay. Drawing. Yeah. yeah we must be. This might be better. I think. We are oh, wow. We're back. back. We've got the technology. Back eight. Okay. Just unlock these. That's Very. a better result for sure, Brent. Very aggressive so, call. Much harder shot. Better result, absolutely. I know. That was like but a few more things could go wrong here. I'll fess up to that. <laughs> Leaving the other team's rocks around when they have the hammer sometimes comes back to bite you. It's still early in the end. Only that third's first rock here, I believe.
that extra weight. They're trying hard. to make it curl. I really like got to go. Hard, hard, hard. Perfect weight. It's a pretty good shot, but again, a lot of red kickers around there. Let's see what Dennis sees here. Not a lot of great options either. He's going to probably hit something hard into the pocket of the yellows and try and kill two yellows. Okay. I'm sure he can hold the shooter here, Kenny. He's called to save the shooter. I'd be worried you're going to save the back two if you save your shooter. I thought he was maybe trying to come off his red, Brent. Yes. Pretty good shot. Decent result. The yellow spun to a bit of a bad spot for, uh, for PEI, but brings those kickers back into play for sure. And you can see, as Zach's now wondering, what do we do here? We got a little bit of trouble, potentially. Yeah. Again, this is this is a shot where you don't want to nose. You want to make sure you roll somewhere. So they had a great conversation in the hack about not overthrowing it, and then unfortunately Jack's thrown this a little too hard. But he rolled. Got away with it. Okay. Yep. Still good firm, eh? Please. Chance for Terry to make this freeze if the sweepers can lock this on there for them. Again, PEI will have a good situation set up. Doesn't look like they like it very much early. <laughs> Just a little bit too heavy. Unfortunate miss there and really good opportunity for Manitoba now. Whatever you want. Yeah, I was going to say I'd be surprised if the calls he's made so far this end tells me he's not afraid to, uh, to be aggressive, so he's going to make the draw here. them talking about how they're gonna make this shot. Uh, Zach's saying, you know, if, leave it early, don't kill the line early. Even if we're a little short, it's not too bad. Just don't kill that line and end oh, up yeah. leaving him a double. Give it a second if you can. Top four, top button. Yep. I, I think you can go. Yep, you can go. Yep, hard line. Supers are really trying hard. to be patient on this stone. Line's good. Hard. Line's going hard. Line's good. Hard. Hard. I can see them working it so hard trying hard. to get it. In the rings for second shot, but it looks short. It's not the desired result, but that yellow is fairly protected in there. Good news for Saskatchewan fans, not so great news for Northern Ontario fans. Looks like Saskatchewan managed to steal three last end. It was rocks everywhere, and uh, Ben Nicholson must have... Uh, Found himself in trouble at the end. Gave up a steal of three to go down 5-1. This, this is a big call here from Dennis. It's pretty hard to get shot rock buried. You want to make sure you have a shot on your last one. The other option would be to try to make the triple peel. I think that would be my preference, John. And then I think you'd Me see too. Manitoba hit the open one and you'd have an open shot. For one. He can make this. Maybe he still thinks he can squeak out a He's a, a pretty good draw player. He's got it on the right line again. It's up to the fellas to make the sweep call here. I think the line's really good if the weight's right. They're a little bit heavy. He's going to... Oh, disaster. So close, but not a great result. It's really good, because I think if you make anything... 
He's rolling out for to be able to steal a two potentially. Even if you nestle in here, well, well you, yeah, you do. You do have to pop it or kill it. You can throw like hack at it or even board. Yeah. Okay. Would you take this on, Jen, or would you just kind of hit that and let him draw the button? Okay, good hack. I would take it on. Okay, I, I knew you would. I was just <laughs> asking just because I wanted to see. And of course, I would think that maybe, you know, sometimes you're gonna hit and roll a rock wide here, not wanting to wreck on the guard, and that's gonna be an absolute disaster double potential. Maybe even for the deuce, which to give up a deuce after this would be pretty heartbreaking. But if he makes this shot, I don't think PEI can score. He's sticking with his aggression. I like it. Close shot. Plays with a lot of confidence. I love it. Seems to. Just looks like he's overthrowing this one just a little bit. He's got to get it to curl. Oh, and it just. Okay. Shot he, you called. He missed by enough that he was okay. Yeah. He's a little closer. There's the other team in there. You're thinking, oh, I wish you were a little bit closer. Just roll a rock and give us that double. But. So Dennis just threw this shot. Draw the pin. Draw the pin. A lot of pressure on the sweepers on these. Yeah, this is where you want to be the third. They've got the best job. Terry's down there just holding the broom, and the rest of the guys here have a lot of pressure on their shoulders right now. Starts with Dennis giving the sweepers a chance, and then, uh, then it falls on the fellas to really make a good sweep call. They've just seen this, though. I, I would expect this to be very close. I'm, I'm super impressed with his speed, his feel of draw weight. He's been He's close on every close on draw. Every, absolutely. First draw. They like it again. Looks like the pressure's on the sweepers now, Jen. Yeah. Looks like it's sliding a little bit. Line's perfect. Right here. Come on. Yep. Heart. Yes, go, go, go. Go, boys. Go, 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 go. What a great shot. That's, Super impressed. That's why I don't skip. I don't want to have to throw that shot. <laughs> With a great draw, we're going to be four, or sorry, three to two after the, after the fourth end of play. calendar is back for 2023. 25 curling athletes from seven different nations are raising money for various charities. Support them by purchasing yours today at curlingcares.com. When I grow up, I want to be a superhero. I want to be a firefighter. I want to graduate university. I don't know what I want to be. I want to be an archaeologist. I want to be a scientist. Pilot. Coach. Carpenter. I'm going to be a curling champion. Kids dream big. Your support will help them realize their dreams on and off the ice. when I was 13. I remember how excited I was to go to the club. It always felt special because of the game, because it was a place where it didn't matter your age or background. In small towns and in big, it's always the same feeling. The feeling that you're at the heart of a community because a curling club is a community where veterans, Olympians, Paralympians, and youth battle for glory one weekend at a time. Curling always felt special to me because it is special. In a thousand curling clubs across this country, curling invites Canadians to connect and inspires communities to grow. 
pride, community, growth. Let's grow together. Curling teaches as much about life as it does about sport. Club, team, house, lead, rock. These are the words of our sport, words we embody, powerful words, words that speak to everything we represent, respect, togetherness, strength. Curling doesn't discriminate. The ice doesn't judge. It adapts. It accepts. Curling isn't a book to be judged by its cover. On these sheets, everyone is on the same page. It's what's on the inside that counts. We dream big. We play with heart. We focus on these circles and imagine podiums in far off places. In a game of inches, every move counts. Are you ready to make yours? The support of the curling community makes it possible for thousands of kids across Canada to follow their dreams on and off the ice. Please give generously. Welcome back to the Everest Curling Club Championships. We're live at West Edmonton Mall for the opening draw. Uh, we have PI and Manitoba men in a great tight battle. Lots of great shots are being made. It is Manitoba up three to two with Hammer after four ends of play. Yeah, I've been very impressed, Jen. I mean, you know, even at the Briar, any any competition, the first game is always difficult to play well. New ice, you know, nerves, all those things. and especially both skips, both Zach and, uh, and Dennis have been super impressive uh, being close on pretty much everything they've thrown. Andrew will be disappointed with that, with that shot. He was trying to throw a guard to, to try to give PI a chance to, to steal in this end. And we see this often. After the break, they go out there with a mop just to keep the ice clean, and it generally is a little bit faster, and it's hard to believe you have to throw a, a little bit less weight on those shots. But it looks like he might have a, oh, no, it's a nose hit. I thought they might be rolling out. So we're going to see probably a fairly open end here from both teams. Yeah, it's hard, hard to believe, as you said, Jen. And we, we often, you know, that's where experience comes in, right? And often you'll come out after the fifth end break and people will ask, did they mop it or didn't they mop it? Because it can literally be a six to eight foot difference. Clean. 
Ainsley. As we mentioned, the regular skip Jamie's missing, so there's some confusion on the, the names. I think that was Andrew, Andrew McDougall throwing the, the lead rocks. I started doubting myself when no, I saw that. No, no, we met screen. Andrew earlier yeah. and yeah. <laughs> So Manitoba is very happy to play up and down and, and right. waste an end here and take the hammer one up into the sixth end. Especially the, the fifth end. You want to try to blank the fifth end, try to maintain hammer in the even ends. This rock is curling, uh -oh. though. I'm not sure if that was a release or if that was uh, some debris. They said unlucky, so maybe they thought... Yeah, it looked like a pick. And if Graham's a veteran, you get up and you, you clean the ice, even if it didn't pick, make sure you're blaming something else, right? Especially when you're on the stream game, right, Jen? Or is that just what I do? I think that's just what you do. Well, that's what I do for sure. <laughs> so guard, a guard from Corey. This is... Now it's coming down a little. And, and and the most important part of this is just to make it a good guard. And unfortunately, again, we're seeing just a little bit faster. And it's going to sneak into the rings and set up a double opportunity for Manitoba. Joshua yeah, with the good. typical tuck slide. I think this is the type of shot he probably lives for, no? I don't know what it is with you. Everybody thinks that Manitoba is just It's just jealousy, just yeah. Us in Ontario are <laughs> flat foot. You know, we can't throw it as hard. And it just looks so easy to hit. How do you miss when it's right in front of you? That's, Look a where B, this rock, that's what BJ knew Phil, though, he says. Yeah. Look where this rock ends up. He knows where it is. That's how BJ throws right there. Or Looks like he set that one, though, Jen. I think we might have the old silent hit here. Oh, oh. a little too thin. So, again, I, I think it's just more important to throw a center line guard rather than making sure you're guarding right, shot stone. This looks I mean, like tight ice. Not a 30. So you can hear the guys talking, which is great sign. Terry saying, hey, this is what the time I got on that one, and you need this, this split time as they communicate. So, you know, given, uh, given the team the best shot to, or best chance to make this. So Corey, would, hopefully we'll be able to throw the right weight here for them. The sweepers still think it's heavy. Still think it's in. Now we're there. Definitely lighter than the last one. Yep. Now you want, because it's such a tight guard, you want to make sure you line it up, make the double a little bit harder. Good shot. Just outside. Nope, just, just in the house. Yep. The problem with going so tight on those guards is that even if Manitoba doesn't make the double, they may hit and roll into the rings, and it changes the end a little bit. Just a little close. bit, but it's close. There's a good shot by Joshua. Really, it probably ends the end here. We'll give Zach an open blank attempt. You can see how hot these players look out there. We have the sun coming through the, the windows on t above us, and I think that's another reason the ice is probably getting a little bit faster. But it's it's warm playing arena, never mind warm playing an arena that's in a mall. So I'm sure they're just it's just a different experience than playing in a curling club. Team Alberta and Team Nunavut right now need sunglasses, and that's that's no joke. This would be a my old uh, front end buddy there, Craig Savile, would be extremely jealous. He could be curling and catching a tan at the same time. Just so awesome, I love it. Nice guard from Terry. Zach's been super aggressive all game, but I don't think you'll see him, you know, take his or put his foot on the gas here. I think he'll just try and peel this end out. Yep. 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 Nice shot from Zach. From J Jack. Sorry. I think he burnt that rock. I was gonna say that went the other direction. Okay. But in typical curling fashion, Dennis says you were gonna make the shot anyway. Don't worry about it, Josh. One of the most contested rules in curling, the burnt rock rule, probably the most contested raw, uh, rule. That's fine, it's fine. There has been certainly some controversy over the years. Where do you sit on the burnt rock rule, Jen? I don't know. I think if, there are, if, if you can see the shot's been made and it's really late, you just let it stand. 
but as, as sweepers are trying to get better body position and trying to get closer to the stone, you're seeing a lot more burnt rocks, especially no, at the elite know. level. Yeah, it's kicking weird. I've been on both sides of it. I've, I've certainly burnt the odd rock in my day and felt very thankful for some people to yep. leave it on and then some people take it off and I certainly understand both. It's a, it's a difficult one. I feel bad for the non-offending team. They always have to make that choice. Yes, Whoa. knock that one. So now you'll see you'll see um, Dennis come into the rings on his shot. If not, you may see Manitoba try to make a come around. It would be two against one. So this rock will be in the rings, trying to make the hit as difficult as possible out in the wings. I gotta say the ice looks pretty much perfect here so far. This draw, I don't know uh, exactly what the speed is, but it looks, you know, it's curling everywhere. Certainly, every shot is available to be made. Greg Owasco and his team have just done a magnificent job. They, they were a little bit delayed in getting the ice in for circumstances beyond their control, and they worked all night tirelessly just to get this ice in, and it's just fabulous. Control. That's a great sweep there by Andrew and uh, and Corey. The last thing you wanted to do there is throw a corner guard. I think at that point Zach probably would have would have taken the the free come around. I didn't see here, Jen. Did he call the the straight peel on this, or is he trying to nose it or roll in? I didn't see. Looks like if he noses it, he's in the rings. Looks like he's trying to nose it. Yeah, trying to stay for sure with that clean. weight. Right off. Yep. Right off. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Clean, clean, Whoa. clean. Just clean. Yep. Right yes. Whoa. 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 Just doesn't want to roll an inch high Whoa. like that. Yikes. Now you'll see Dennis try to make a come around, make the blank attempt difficult for Manitoba. I just tell him to you can hear Zach's a little bit disappointed there, and I'm not sure that the sweeping changed anything, but it's a frustrating result. I, I know they knew that was the only thing they couldn't do. Tough come around here, though, way out in the wings. Certain, he just threw it. Certainly doesn't want to get tight to that yellow and bump it in by any means. Line looks pretty good. Right here. Berry, you can. For sure. It's on a good line, you're right. Looks a little Hurt. light though. Go. Go, 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 go. Yep, 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 yep. That was on such a good line, just four feet more weight, and that would have been dead buried. As far as open blanks go, this is not super first, simple. Though. Probably try to nose this if he can. I should throw the intern, but I haven't thrown it yet. And you can hear Zach saying, I should throw the intern, but I haven't seen it. Harder shot than this. Yeah. I, as long as it, like, if I throw enough weight, I can push the yellow in. I'm not sure okay, there's definitely a spot here where he can bump that yellow in. Interesting to see how this turns out. Good shot. Blank end for Manitoba. Mission accomplished.
Fibers Curling Club Championship, and we're about to start the sixth end of play, a pivotal end in curling. Usually is kind of where a team will take an advantage and has a really much better chance of success if they can do that. So you're going to see Manitoba, I think, try to score here regardless. What would you think, Brent? Yeah, I mean, Manitoba's in control here, up one with the hammer. Uh, even a single point here, up two, playing seven in an eight-end game is certainly control. And uh, certainly they're going to take a shot at a deuce here. And PEI on the flip side probably wants to put some pressure on them and get up a couple of maybe even two center guards here and, and maybe steal a point. That would be a huge swing in this game if that could happen. So definitely a pivotal end. Nice guard. That's a nice guard from Andrew. Graham with the chance to, to make the come around, put the pressure on PEI. If you can put this biting the top four foot buried, it's, well, it doesn't sound like top four. No, oh, they swept this one early. They did. Back four still. We're gonna be wide open. Halfway. Certainly a little too deep. A rock that PEI could potentially use if they wanted to. I'm surprised we're not playing the freeze on this one. Yeah, I agree. Even another guard with where that is. Hit and roll would be good, though. You'd be right on the button. This is the lefty in turn. Yep. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Sounds close. Right to it, right to it, right to it, right to it, right to it. Right to it. Got you. Yeah, pretty good shot there from Andrew. Sounds like they call him Doog. It's a good little nickname. I like that nickname. Yeah. Hack. 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 Another good looking shot here. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. A lot of finish after the guard. Oh. Just going to exchange hit and rolls here, I guess, eh? Jen, a lot of talk, you say, you know, the sixth end is so pivotal. A lot of talk about analytics in our sport over the last couple of years. You know, when, when to play aggressive, when not to. Uh, certainly a hot topic around the curling world these days, eh? Yeah, it definitely is. I'm not smart enough to understand it, so I just kind of go with what I know from the years. Maybe I'm just getting too old for this game. It's passed me by. Another good looking shot. There it is. Looks like almost the perfect roll. You want to hit the guard here, Jen? I like the aggression. Oh, he's trying half weight. Okay, I thought he'd call the freeze. No, that, the, the guys did mention it, though. Somebody mumbled, I like the freeze, which it's a good shot, but maybe a little unnecessary with the scoreboard. I like this call. It's a pretty high guard, so, which makes it, if you throw the right way here, you should be able to almost nose hit that stone that's buried. For sure, looks like you might have this a good, one a bit. Firm is not a really good like call to hear. Really, really got a curl good well, piece. Might be the Cardinal that miss here and missed everything. Had to at least get the guard yeah. there, and I know you don't want to think that as a thrower, but now all of a sudden they're in some trouble. We call a guard here. I actually like coming into the rings. I think so too. Put a little bit of pressure on Manitoba, but I like the guard. Great opportunity for PEI here. Like I mentioned earlier, if they could steal one here, then kind of one hammer each in seven and eight, we got a 50 50 ball game. Sometimes I'm just looking around, Brent, and I'm watching all these people watching curling in West Edmonton Mall, and I just, how cool is this? It is pretty fantastic. I've never really seen a venue like this for curling. I've curled a lot of places. Never one quite this cool. And everywhere you walk, there's a path mark to, to get to the Everest Curling Club Championship. It's, it's really unbelievable. So now you're going to see a double peel, and actually, if you make this double peel, it might get the one in the house as well, which is why coming, yeah. throwing the guard is a little bit risky.
chance to redeem himself a little bit. Yep. Definitely has a weight, hard. right? Yeah, it's hard enough. Come on, Graham. Jammed it. Okay. Love it. We'll see if P.I., now that they're buried, will they switch it or are they still going to throw that guard? And I, I completely agree with you, Jen. The more separation you can get with this next shot being thrown in that guard, the harder it's going to be for, for them to make a double or even a triple. You're going to so throw the guard. This needs to be long, I just agreed. over the hog line. Those are that's, I think that's the hardest shot. I agree. <laughs> Everybody says it's the freeze. I think it's the high that's guard, high especially as a second who rarely throws that high guard. Or a skip. Um, well, our third or a skip. Let, I'm just talking about me. Let's need, talk about me for a second, John, okay? They need an audible here. This looks heavy. Line's perfect for the freeze, though. Terry called his own shot. Curl. Oh, even a little heavy for that. Okay. It's a little bit buried. The double's tough, but definitely a chance for Manitoba to hit and stay and totally change the complexion on this end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I touch, touch the guard, it's okay too, I guess, but you gotta get by for the close. To get I wish you didn't say yeah. that, Jack. As a sweeper, I might ask Jack to stand up when he says it's okay if we touch the guard here, because it's certainly not, and I don't want him thinking about that as my, my third. Especially in a spot that curls. This is definitely curling. He, he used it all. What's the key to the This looks great. I mean, he might have lost it. Oh, yeah, he needs a double. What, what a, a great player. Shot. That's a fantastic shot there and got them out of all sorts of trouble. You'll see a replay on this too. They just made a perfect line call. Those are hard. You don't want to rub the guard. And just the perfect weight. Threw it soft enough to get the curl, but hard enough to make the double. Great that, shot. His team needed that one. That's one where if you do touch the guard, it's the micro touch and it doesn't even move the guard, just redirects yours out of play and you didn't change a thing. This one's very tight. Oh, oh, wow. What was it? What Whoa. a great shot. I'm impressed. He has better eyesight than me because that was an aggressive whoa by Terry, but he knew exactly where that rock was. Great shooting. A little bit of a score update. I just saw we have a 6 0 uh, Newfoundland over the territories on, in the women's game. Brent, I can't see. Can you see the. Uh, Manitoba, Quebec. It looks to me like it is 4 to 2 for Quebec. Okay playing the sixth end. As the sun hit sheet E, Alberta heated up, and they look to be up 6-1, uh, a commanding lead over none of it. Another tight one here, Jen. I wouldn't say whoa on this one. That's going to touch the front. Oh, unfortunate. Just. Okay. What do you like here, Brent? Well, two trains of thought. I mean, the automatic call is the guard. Okay. But if I'm Manitoba and you throw a guard here, I think, well, I'm probably forced, so maybe I take a chance and throw a come around, and if I make a good come around, I might get a deuce. So for PEI here, it doesn't look like a great steal opportunity. I, I think I might, I might just go around a corner guard or something. I like the guard. Yeah? I don't think it's a bad call. I, I like the guard. I, 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 Manitoba's got to make it perfect. They've yeah. got to come around one, and the, you just got to make this a good guard. Can't give them something to come around where you, you can't access it. And if Manitoba makes a mistake, you haven't, then your opportunity to steal is really good. Agreed. Do you think, I think Zach, my guess would be having just met him today, that yeah. uh, he will play the draw, but he might play the peel and then probably you'll see Dennis come in and bump that back and then you'll have a double, uh, worst case. It's an interesting situation. If that's on the button, absolutely, uh, it's an automatic guard. Yeah. Terry's right, this is just a line shot. They thought it was a little bit heavy, but it's really a line shot. They got to make sure they have a good guard here. Okay. It's a usable guard, but definitely that, that shot rock is accessible. Yeah. Not easy to make a perfect guard on, on such good ice that's curling that four and a half feet. You know, you got to get the weight exactly right to get it in the right spot on the line. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Not sure if they're keeping stats, but I'm not sure Zach's missed very much, if anything, has he? No, he's a great player. Oh, did I just jinx him? No, he's gonna roll this buried behind the corner guard. Which is good and bad. I think you can see enough of it. It's a perfect roll if you can get him to chase it, because the alternative was, if Dennis didn't think he could chase, he's gonna say, I guess I have to go around that center guard. He's gonna chase it, and I, th I think you'll see Zach go for the blank. I don't think he'll take one here, do you, Jen? No, I don't think so. I think they'll try to get the, maintain the hammer. Yeah. I've seen it, though. I've seen some top teams take that one and six in, in positions like this, scoreboard like this, so we'll see. Really throws a nice stone. Very in control of his delivery. Really nice stone. I don't think he wants that one swept. Terry's pretty adamant there. Trying to okay. stick around. Might get behind that other corner guard. Is it going to roll out? I think that's going out. Just. Oh, okay, well, we're definitely going to see the blank now. If they're sweeping it out of the house, he's going to throw this one through. I just received a text from um, a friend of mine at St. Mattel Curling Club, and she was saying that uh, these boys beat uh, a team from St. Vital in the in the final to get here and that there are a lot of them are graduates of the St. Vital curling club so it's kind of nice to see a nice young team coming through and doing so well but with that blank we're going to carry over mm -hmm. the hammer until the seventh end and Manitoba still leads 3-2 over Prince Edward Island going into seven what a nice throw on his last last one West Edmonton Mall, Everest Curling Club Championship. It's been a fantastic game, really close. We're in the seventh end, one point game, tons of great shots being made. I'm impressed. I'm enjoying this game. It's been, yeah, very entertaining. A slow start in the first end, getting their feet under them, but since then there's been a ton of great shots made. So big shot here from Andrew McDougall. Um, you okay. want to make sure that this rock okay. is short of the rings, and it is. Just over curling a little bit. Those are tough to make sure you get the line on center. And now the come around attempt from Manitoba lead Graeme Norman. They like it early. Looks like it's on a pretty good line. The key to this is really how far it goes. It doesn't even really matter if it's buried. I don't think you'll see PEI hit this. They certainly don't want to see a blank end here. Just don't want this on the T-line or behind the T-line. Yeah, you didn't want to do that. I'm okay with that. Those are hard as sweepers because you want to make sure you're there, but we didn't touch it. Right you don't have a lot of room for error. We were talking to Team Manitoba before the game, and they were saying that both the women and the men are from the Pemina Curling Club. They can right. represent the Pemina Curling Club. Um, which is the only time that's ever happened in uh, Manitoba Club Championships, that, that both teams are from the same club. So congratulations yeah, to the Pemina Curling Club, who is also in their 75th okay. year Mine's good. of existence. That's a lot of years of curling. Yeah. Okay, have I been to the Pemina right. Curling Club? You have, yes. Right here, guys. You have. There you go. Kendall yep. curled there. Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay. On the top four. Good looking shot here by Andrew. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's actually where Caitlin Laws yep, yep, began her curling career. Yep. Oh, well, very famous club then. Mm. Good. Nice weight. Good judge. And Andrew, the yeah, ice maker at San Mateo Curling Club, is also the ice maker there. So Maybe great ice conditions. <laughs> Interesting end here. Nice come around from Graham. Uh, sorry, that was... Uh, that was Andrew. That was Andrew, and now it's Graham. Both the same. Well, this, this is where Graham's just kind of got to throw the, the same shot, and, and the sweeper's just got to sweep it a little bit better. Or Graham decides that he doesn't trust his sweepers, and he throws less weight, so they can't oversweep it. 
it's good. They're really scrubbing this, trying to make sure they get there for Shot Rock. Come on, Josh. Hold on, come on. Right over curl. Oh, it just lost the line. Perfect weight. Pretty good spot here, but really put some pressure on here and make it an interesting end. Top four, though. Freeze right in the corner. It's fine. You want to make sure you're, I know he said short's okay, but this is the, the time in the game when you want to try to really be precise here and get this top four. Yeah, you're down one without, you're going to have to make some really good shots here to put some pressure on Manitoba, and this is an opportunity for Corey to do just that. Okay. Look at all the people watching, okay. Brent. Okay. Back eight. Having their coffee right, by the okay. Starbucks. Doing watching some Christmas here. shopping, yeah. taking in some, yep. go, some curling. Get the line. Okay, line's good, Get line's good. We got to go. I think go you got to go for line two here. This looks like it's really yep. curling. Yep, keep it going. Yep. This yep. looks good to me, Brent. Great shot. What a shot. Good. Absolutely perfect. You'll see Absolutely Manitoba perfect. Start running. I think they're going to. Oh, I was going to say, you can't just straight peel this, but I guess you, you can. You can. You still have the forefoot to draw you. That's why I don't skip. I don't, I don't want to throw that shot. I'd be running this back and hoping one of my teammates could bail me out. Awfully thin. Yep, made it. Perfect. That's all you need. Josh has thrown a lot of uh, high hard ones recently. Uh, part of that's the scoreboard, but part of it is also Andrew uh, McDougall's been getting Doug, as we call him. He's Doug, been getting yes. his, uh, his like rocks in some some great spots there, and then a little sweeping error on uh, on Graham's first one allowed them to get this set up. Now this is a guard. Um, you want to make sure you actually guard the yellow stone and like. You want to guard your redstone, but if anything, you want it to overcurl and guard on the other side. Yep. Doesn't help Manitoba to hit that top red one, that's for sure. But they could if they can hit their yellow. Yep, 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 yep. Keep going. Probably get shot rock. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Fire as you can now. Line's great. Yep, right there, right there. Good. These boys are just okay. sweeping like crazy. And Good that's job, one thing you find Go on Arena it. Ice because it's curling so much, you do a lot of sweeping and it's so hot out there because we're in West Edmonton Mall. What an amazing venue. You can see them huffing and puffing. So to me, this this is a high guard, not super usable. I mean, good enough. But this tells me Zach Peel in this one, he's not going to make a move this end. He's happy to draw the forefoot against those, uh, you know, against the steel. Because if you were going to make a move, you're going to do it when that, that rock is up there so high that it's not super usable. This is probably comfortable with 40 for me. It's red line two there, Jen. It's hard to tell. It was hard to tell. I couldn't. I didn't want to make that prediction. That angle looks like they are, but... The oh. overhead looked like it was pretty close. Hey, Ter Terry, who usually plays lead on this team, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, good Corey's draw player. Corey's, Corey's in! Corey's in! This one's curling early. Okay, overshot now. Well, let's clean it now. Clean it, clean it! But clean like it. you said, as long as they really guard that yellow, there's not a... Kind of danger. Yep, 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 you yep. leave that yeah. red one open. You probably want to leave it open in case they decide not to, judge, to peel. You want access to that red one potentially. It looks like he's thinking about something now. Another high guard. Yeah, maybe. Like, kind of. Looks like uh, red's only line one, but I get that wrong when I'm on the ice. So, okay. certainly from the booth, I'm <laughs> probably 50-50. Yeah. Back line. Yeah, just back line. Okay. Oh, it's very close. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So another high guard, another chance. If you're going to make a move, the earlier you make it, the more time you have to recover from it. So this becomes a super important shot. If you ever feathered the guard, you know, you'd be in some big trouble. Jax made a lot of good shots in this game. Sure really has. solid delivery. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's not something, under. something you want to hear. Whoa. 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 Just is now Hard. trying to audible, I think. They're He's still going. trying to make it curl, Hard. but they could just hit their Hard. yellow. Hard. Okay. A lot of kickers. It's getting expensive for PI, whatever's going on, but I think if he freezes another one on the red here. So yellow is shot. But I think you would just freeze or tap that an inch and then red shot. It could easily lie two that are virtually impossible to get rid of. Okay. I like coming right, right into the red. Yep. Or short, okay. Yeah. Uh, Interesting, okay. yeah, I think he's gonna... Time out. Yeah. yeah. I like Could this call. I like, yeah. Let's chat about this, fellas. Big big point in the game here, late in the game. And an opportunity to steal 
And if you steal here, you might you might steal two. Let's listen to what they I have to say. Double, but it's pretty flat. Same. It's flat double. I don't, I don't think the double advantage is right. He can't move us. If anything, it he can't move ours. us this way. He's, yeah. he, he can come at us from the other side there, but like he can come in and nudge his yeah. in. Yeah. But... Well, he's he's sitting one. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, that's um, all I was thinking is that well, maybe I just maybe come I, around this way. Maybe I well, maybe I just just up here. Throw the guard here. Yeah. They're one. I don't want to play in a, on it yet. Right. Like I've got two options. Right. I can. Yeah. Kick at it, or I've got, or I've got that way. I like but I'm, this. I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking that. I like that. Guard that side of it, and then. Yeah, just guard this side. Yeah, then we, we can. can What's that? Well, we can get, we can get. If to he that. does that, fine. I'm, I'll play, I'll play the double mic. Like the way it curls, we can get to that. Yes. I'm not, I'm not worried about I'm that. I'm not worried about him going here. <laughs> so yeah, just get here, just like tuck a corner, or just I edge on so. edge. Yeah, just yeah, exactly, just. Okay. Kind of edge on so just edge. pass the logo yeah. here. Okay. Well, they've, they've got a plan here. I mean, if, if you are going to guard, I think I like the guard better on this side than the other side. The first guard they were talking about, I think Zach almost certainly would have drawn around that to lie too. I really like the freeze just so because I. they have so many yellow stones in the rings. They're yeah. shot rock. If you freeze tap an inch, then you're shot and they're, they're kind of having to play to you, but... Same conversation we had earlier. If you put this in a spot where they can make a double peel on the guards, you're going to be very unhappy very quickly and in, in a lot of trouble of giving up a multiple and losing this game right here in seven. Yeah, I think you're going to see Manitoba peel just because they have so many kickers in the house. And they're shot rock too, right? Yep. Andrew, yes! Andrew, yes! Oh, that looked oh, like, that looked like it picked. picked. Yeah, unfortunately ah! for them. Whoa, 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 a little bit whoa, whoa, of an audible whoa, whoa, whoa. here. Split the guard a little. End up doing the same job. Okay, that's, that's There's a hole there. But I think he's probably, uh, he's looking at some kind of double peel here. Okay. That's going to put some serious pressure on PEI. Yeah, they might still have to even play that freeze. Yeah. And I think that double he was talking about off the outside, that looks extremely difficult if maybe even, I don't, don't know that it's there. A big shot for Jack. Jack's played quite well. He oh, might found the hole. Him. Kiss of death. Find the hole. Oh, Ooh. fortunate. Didn't want to go through the hole there. It might have picked out. I might have picked out the red one, I guess. But so you can see the predicament now. Now what are we? Uh, what are we up to here, PEI? I think so. Do we? Well, it's my, it's my, it's my first. My first. Yeah. 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 We got this. We gotta be. We gotta be okay. cross for the bit. Just cross it on the logo there. We're make a good guard okay. here if you're gonna play this guard, because if he has any opportunity to chase that red, he's certainly gonna take it. So you gotta make sure you at least, even if you over curl and leave him half of the red on the center line side, he won't show, be able to get that red one out. But if you show him anything on the wide, the intern side there, okay, Zach, the you're gonna side. see Zach okay. take that on and, and chase it and try and pick that out and lie two or three. Yeah, halfway, whatever. The line's more important than depth, depth, right? So, still same speed, right? Okay. Halfway, good. Corey's right in. Here. Corey's in. Yep. Okay, over curl. This is certainly going to curl enough, Jen. This might be trouble for PEI. We're over curling. Over curling. We're over curling. Whoa. Whoa. Really needs to sit. Okay. I think it does the trick. I don't think he can yeah, knows yeah. that with any weight. What do you like here? Just trying to. How much of this, guys? Yeah, there. That's the shot I wanted. Uh, I don't know. How much of this? What do you got? I think I like the double peel. I think so too. So put PEI to the to test. What are they gonna are they gonna try and hit and lie to and maybe set up a double to win the game? They're gonna have to play a freeze, I think. Freeze. Freeze bump. You can always get one of them out. Zach's a, a shooter and a good hitter. There's nowhere he can put it where you can't get one of them out. And if they make a little mistake, you'll have a pretty simple shot for two, three, or four. What are you throwing then? Control? He's trying to nose that. I, I, I don't mind this call. I, 
P.I. is probably going to have to throw guard in your garden for your life. And Manitoba should have a run back for multiple points. I think he's thinking he can nose it, which would almost get that out. Certainly out of the forefoot. So he's going to take this on, Jen. He's going to try and get close to the guard. And I think uh, the final weight call is control, maybe normal. And it looks yeah, to me, that looks like you're going to roll off most times. If he gets really tight to the guard, I think he might be able to even squirt that out of the forefoot and lie shot rock here, which would be bad news for PEI. Look. This is looking good. Looking good. Got to get it by the guard. Oh, oh no. no, the feather tick. Disaster. Oh, I thought he had a perfect shot. Now you're going to see the freeze tap. I hope right, so. There's a replay. You can just see just scrubbing just touches it. The micro tick that barely moved the guard. Heartbreak for Manitoba. I don't think you want to hit this. I just think you yeah. want to tap it a rock. The key to this is making sure you line them up properly. We know his speed's going to be close. He has been close on everything. Dennis' speed control has been amazing. From the draw the button to every shot in this game. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Why don't we do, um, I was going to say some score updates. Well, let's wait and see what happens. Certainly the biggest shot we've seen in this game. This could really swing the tide. I mean, as, as well as Zach has played, he's got to be a little bit uncomfortable if they make if Dennis makes a great shot here and makes him draw the forefoot against two when you have a one-point lead playing seven. Like Jen said, I think Dennis will be close here. Just love his delivery. So technically sound. But that did look a little bit soft. Soft That's going to be trouble. How's Wade? Hey! If we're soft, let's look with the guards. Doesn't no, look very to. close, unfortunately. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I jinxed him. Yep. 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 Straight, 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 straight. Yep. Yep. Okay, so he's Look guarding back. it, but he's left to draw okay, for two, two for Manitoba. And to you really can see the difference here. just on Terrible a soft. Throw. Yeah, he owned it though. Bad throw. A little bit of a soft release, and it takes the speed off, and it curls right away. That should be lots, yeah. Massive break there for Manitoba after a. You know, an arguably bad break, just Feather taking the guard on Zach's first, and now all of a sudden out of nowhere, he's got a free draw for two. Well, it's too bad for Dennis, because he's had such a great game. And Zachary has had a great game as well. So I would I would think he's gonna make this shot. It's curling early though, Brent. It does look like it's curling to me too, John. Can't touch that red stone. I think it's a little heavy, but it's curling like it's not. But it is heavy too. Must have been a little bit of a soft throw there. Oh, perfect. Good result. And the deuce for Manitoba to take a three-point lead into the eighth end. end. Either way for each team. Manitoba ended up getting two and taking a three point lead heading into eight. But with the five rock rule, that does not necessarily mean it's over. You're going to see some guards from Prince Edward Island 
try to generate some offense in the, on the corners, and Manitoba is going to heal as soon as they can. Yeah, certainly not over by any by any stretch. Some crazy things have happened late in games like this. I mean, it's been a well played game. Get a couple guards up here by by Duke, and we'll see where uh, where this end goes. But uh, Manitoba's throwing the first one into the rings as as would be expected. And now we're going to see uh, CPI throw up a corner guard here. There's some updates across the sheet here. Alberta stranglehold over Nunavut 7-1. We've got uh, Saskatchewan and uh, Northern Ontario. Northern Ontario clawing back in. Now down just 5-4, playing 7 without the hammer. Newfoundland up 6-2 on uh, Northwest Territories. And Quebec yeah. is in a tight one with Manitoba, tied at 4, playing the 7th. And it looks like uh, Manitoba has the hammer. Nice corner guard. Choice here, looks like, yep. Zach's gonna play that corner guard chip shot here. So they're doing away with the tick shot around center if you bite center. I think they should, if they're gonna do that, they should do away with this too. I think I gave you that idea, but I agree with you. I think- uh, <laughs> All my good ideas are your uh, ideas? I, I think so, but I, yeah, I, I think if we're gonna do that, let's eliminate the tick shot altogether. Uh, I'm not saying that that's you know, what we should do, but if we're going to, I, I don't see why, why we'd allow it in some places and not in others. This one is, has overcurled by quite, quite a, a large margin here. It's gonna go out of play and they'll put that back as part of the five rock rule. Sorry about, I was there? Post? All right, corner on the other side. Uh, as Terry said, corner on the other side. It'll be interesting to see what Manitoba does next. They still won't be able to peel as long as as long as Andrew gets this in the free guard zone. Hair, hair higher right now. If your hair higher, I'd sweep this early because you yep. know it's gonna curl. Yeah. This is all a depth shot. It doesn't matter your line. You just want to make sure it's a good guard. So you want to sweep this hard. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it didn't matter if it curled too much. You just need to make sure that it's a good guard, and it is. It is, yep. So good setup. Dukes gave the gave the boys a chance here. Manitoba's going to play the bump, it looks like. Hey, Jen? Yeah, both that. It sounds like they're just drawing into the rings, bumping it. Back four. My knee hurts just watching that slide. Really? Oh, yeah. It's like I, I think my knee would explode if I tried to do that. Your knee hurts normally, so yeah, probably. Come on. <laughs> good looking shot here for the weights, right? Line's certainly good. Back eight. Might be a little bit heavy. You don't want to tap this behind the T-line. Oh, Pretty good. Shot. Nice shot. Now we're going to see the come around. Looks like this is curling a little bit more than the intern side. No. But it could be, it could be oh, Doug. Duke. <laughs> it could be that that's Duke's intern um, versus a right-handed out turn. You'll generally see interns curl a little bit more. Absolutely. Core looks to have this on a pretty good line. He's tight of where, uh, where Duke, where Andrew had his line, so this has got to be tight to the yep. guard, I would think. Doesn't yep. look heavy. Yep, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You might run out of rings going, here if that gets by. Ooh, they got it by. Did they get it by? They did. And he is... Gotta go in the rings, though, boys. Just, yeah. yeah, nice shot. What a shot, just biting. Doesn't matter as long as it's in. It overcurled the guard. I would think Manitoba could see it to peel it. Gorgeous. If you ever make it, it's gorgeous. I like that. It's gonna play the long double here. The in off? Yeah. Wants to peel a guard for sure. and. Added bonus, if you peel this one, looks like a, you know, a, a, about a third of a rock or maybe a little thinner, and you might get over and get that other one and really put a stranglehold on this end in this game. Peel. Peel. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Looks like he liked it. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Looks close. Little thin. Come on, touch it. Oh, so Heartbreak. close. Oh. Oh. 
PEI lives another shot here. That would have really ended the game more or less. What do you like here, Brent? Do you I like think I'd go around, around the, corner? the corner guard again, or you could freeze, or even go around the one in the center. That, I was either that. thinking coming around the one top eight, or you yep. come around the corner guard. If you come around the corner, they're probably going to peel. Let's see. Is he going, going open side? Soft. Putting the guard back. So on another corner. Okay, I think it might be a little bit late in the end for this, but we'll see how this uh, this plays out. Sounds this like he's just a little bit light on this. Lacks some speed, unfortunately. That's an unfortunate miss. Unfortunate miss for sure, but he could pick himself up. You ever draw around those yellows back twelve? Yeah, it's not Still over yet. Still got a chance for three. the peel here but rolled to a interesting spot I would suggest it's not a great spot yeah I think, I think you got to make that hit and roll eh John just, just throw yeah I like that even just tap it back get low behind the guard attack needs to kill it though needs to keep that that top red one as a, a minor threat at least Close. Yep. Line. Yep. Line. Yep. Yes. Terry thought he was soft on the release there. Got it going a little inside the intended line, and that is yep. just big yep. trouble on ice like this. Took all the speed off and ended up ended up top 12 foot weight. And I told him might switch gears here soon. I think you'll see him hit the one in the house. Yeah. Okay. Just peel it out. P.I. only has three stones left, and they need to score three. Good looking throw from Jack there. Thought I heard Zach say aim for the nose, and I guess Jack heard him. <laughs> so now you will see a freeze from Princeton Island. It's important to be frozen on that Yellowstone. Be good here. Desperate times at this point. You need a, a miss now. Might need two, two almost open misses. Line's good. No, no. We have our first final. Alberta has completed their game against Nunavut and has won. Yep. No, gotta go. Other games are still very much in play. Oh, the nice shot here from Terry. Just needs to curl. I don't think you want to do that. I think you just got to appeal, appeal the guard. Appeal the guard. You're going to have a wide open shot to win the game. Okay. That guard? Throwing, uh, intern at us? Ron Ender's got it figured out as usual, right, Jen? Mm -hmm. Always. It's, looks, it's easy to call the game from the other end when you're not shooting and you don't have to call it. It's really simple. <laughs> And the reason you don't want to play that chase is that, you know, if you get you get a really close to a great shot and you just feather tick the guard and don't move it and don't really change the situation. They get to get another one in there. Make this guard go away and you have a wide open hit to win the game. Looks like they like it. And there's the peel. Prince of Ireland's gonna try. I would think you'd almost have to Yeah. Tap up there and roll and roll under there. Yeah. Yeah. There's desperate times now. Split that yellow though, it's a great call here by Dennis. If you can throw 
kind of back eight and hit a about a quarter stone and chip that yellow behind the red, make it a little bit tricky. Shooter rolls buried. Just back eight foot, we're just gonna chip and roll off, try and just bump them right behind us and everything, so. That's the plan. I like the plan. Yeah, it's a solid plan. It's better back eight than I threw last time. <laughs> better back eight than I threw last time. <laughs> <laughs> what a great bunch of guys. Smiling as he's throwing, I love it. Stay close, we're in the middle, stop. Stay close, curling now. Curling now. This is not yet. gotta be not close. Yet. Not yet. Yep. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. 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 This looks yes. perfect, Jen. Yes. Just got oh, robbed. They, they lost, lost it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not all bad. Oh, it would have been perfect. Right. Great try. Yeah. Going, uh, peel. So four is Saskatchewan fans. It looks like there's going to be a nose double against three here. Holy moly! Yeah, this this game has been wild. Every time I peek over, there's a lot of action. He's got a, a very yeah a makeable nose hit on the center line to to go up to coming home. But anything off off nose could be as much as a two steal. Hey okay, Zach's in the hack. Just got to make one red go away. Sounds so yeah. easy. Looks like Manitoba's gonna start off with a victory. And that is a win. So Manitoba runs PI out of rocks. Very well played game by Manitoba. Thoroughly enjoyable game. I I think both teams are gonna have a great week here and I know that we really enjoyed being in West Edmonton Mall and we will see you back again for our next game.